Hare Krishna. Now Krishna has started giving the details of Kshetra, that is the field of activities. And we are going to get into the first verse where the description of field of activities is given by Krishna. That is Shloka number 5. Rishi Bhir Bahuda Gitam Chando Bhir Vividai Pratak Brahma Sutra Padais Chaiva He to Mad Bhir Vinishchitahe. So here the Lord is saying that the knowledge of the field. So basically we are talking about that. The knowledge of the field of activities and the knower of the activities is Gitam, is described. Described by Bahuda Rishibihi, by various sages, various wise sages. Where have they described this? It's given here. Chandobihi, Bividahi, Prithak. So they have described in various Vedic writings. And then, Brahma Sutra Padais Chaiva and all this is especially described in Vedanta Sutra and Hetu Madhbir Vinishchitahi and it is described not sentimentally it is described with all reasoning to the cause and its effect. So here Krishna is actually giving some reference before describing he is giving some reference. That's a very important thing to note here that Krishna being the Supreme Personality of Godhead, there is no need of He giving reference of someone else. But Krishna is setting an example that whenever we are speaking about the spiritual subject matters, we have to quote references from the bona fide Vedic literatures. Now in the previous shloka, in shloka number 4, Krishna said that I am going to give a brief description. Now suppose Arjuna has a question. So if you are giving the brief, brief description, then where is the elaborate description given? So here Krishna is saying, it is already given by all the great rishis. Where? In the Vedic scriptures, especially in Vedanta Sutra. What is Vedanta Sutra? So we have all the Vedic literatures and the conclusion of that, Anta, Veda Anta, so the Anta or conclusions of all that is given in this Vedanta Sutra. See, sutras means quotes basically. So in this way, it's very clearly mentioned by Krishna that this knowledge that I am going to speak, I am going to speak from this place. And he is giving the reference. Now here, he says that this is according to different sages. As far as the sages are concerned besides himself, Vyasadev is a great author and in the Vedanta Sutra, duality is perfectly explained. And Vyasadev's father, Parashara, is also a great sage and he writes in his books of religiosity, Aham Tvam Cha Tathanye Vi that is you and I and the various other living entities are all transcendental, although in material bodies. So Parashara Muni is basically, he is the father of Vyasadev and he is speaking about this, that how the Lord and all the living entities, they are spirit souls, but the living entities are trapped in the body. So here it is given. What is our current situation? We are transcendental by nature, but current situation is, now we are fallen into the ways of the three modes of material nature according to our different karma. So based on our past karma, we have been given some body and that's how we are stuck in some of the, some of the bodies or the 84 lakh species which is offered by the material nature. As such, some are on the higher levels and some are in the lower levels. So some bodies are on the higher levels, some bodies are on the lower levels. The higher and lower natures exist due to ignorance and are being manifested in an infinite number of living entities. Now these higher natures, lower natures, basically in terms of consciousness, you know, it's, it's, it's there. In the ignorance, the person starts thinking, oh, I am a man, I am a woman, I am a dog, I am a cat and so on and so forth. So this is what is spoken about, that ignorance. In ignorance, you know, we accept some identity of ours in this material world. But when it comes to super soul, is it the same? Because he is also there in the body, no? So he, he also believes the same. If he is there in the dog body, he thinks that he is a dog. He is in a man's body, he thinks that he is a man. Is it, is it something like that? Here it is given. But the super soul, he is infallible. is uncontaminated by the three modes of, uh, three qualities of nature and is transcendental. 
Similarly, in the original Vedas, a distinction between the soul and super soul and the body is made, especially in Katha Upanishad. There are many great sages who have explained this and Parashara is considered principal among them. So we have to understand that super soul is never affected from all, by all this. He is above the three modes of material nature. He is above all the contamination of this world. So he is not affected by the three modes or any contamination, but we the living entities, we are affected. We are attached to this body and the three modes of material nature, they capture this body and that's how they work. So we are affected very badly. So now, it's a very important concept that is presented here in the purport. Now we said higher natures, lower natures, so what are basically all this? So this can also be viewed from a different angle, which is called as the five koshas. Now it's a very, very important uh, concept. So let's try to get deeper into this. And if possible, we can make some notes also so that we understand these technical aspects. So these five koshas, mm -hmm. It can be described uh, like uh, encasing the living entity's consciousness. Mm -hmm. The five koshas or sheets. So it's like an encasing to the consciousness of the living entity. See, naturally, originally, living entity's consciousness is all pure. But there is an encasing to the consciousness that is there. So these are koshas. Or it can also be considered as within the body there are different, different departments of existence different different departments of existence. So it can also be considered like that. Now these five koshas, obviously they are the stages of consciousness. This is clear, subjective stages of consciousness, but also they are objective energy levels, energies, the levels of Brahman realization. So they are different stages of consciousness and they are different levels of Brahman realization. So this is what is the five koshas. So let's try to go deeper and try to understand all five of them now. The first one is called as Annamaya Kosha. Now what is this Annamaya Kosha? Hmm. So let's try to understand. So in each Kosha, we'll try to understand first the, the consciousness, the stage, the consciousness stage. And next we'll try to understand the Brahman realization stage. Hmm. Now when it comes to consciousness stage here, it's very animalistic consciousness. Hmm where the person just thinks about, oh, I have to maintain my body by eating food. So all the time looking for food. Like for example, for small kids, when we give anything, be it uh, some palatable food, or be it some mobile phone, or be it some pencil, be it some book, the only thing that they will do is take that and put it in the mouth. So that's the lower level of consciousness where the person sees everything as eatable. And now what is the Brahman realization stage here? Here the person perceives the absolute truth in the food. This is what is the level of realization that the person has. So if we understand the consciousness covering and the Brahman realization. Second, now second one is called as Pranamai Kosha. Now the person's realization is above, above the food aspect, above the uh, existence on the food. Now what is he thinking or what is his realization is? His realization is that now I'm conscious entity. I'm living. This is what is the next level of realization that he has got. Before all the time he was animalistic. Just eating, eating, eating. Mm -hmm. Sumptuously eating. This is what he's looking forward for. But now his realization level has increased. Mm -hmm. His consciousness level has increased. Where he has started understanding that, oh, I'm a living conscious person. Now, in this particular stage, he tries to defend himself in all the possible ways. Because if he thinks, if I'm protected, I'm all happy. So somehow I should defend myself. Because now he has realized I'm a living, I'm a living uh, conscious person, so I have to defend myself. So this is the level of realization, sorry, level of consciousness. Now what is the level of realization? Now here, he realizes the absolute truth in the living symptoms or life forms. Now, before he was realizing the absolute truth in food. Doesn't matter, is it uh, alive or is it dead? At that time, everything was same for him. But now his consciousness level has increased, so his realization has also gone to the next level. And what is that realization? Now he understands, oh, this is conscious entity, oh, this is living. So this is Pranamai Kosha. So we saw Annamai Kosha, Pranamai Kosha. Now let's go to the next one. 
that is manomai or jnanamai kosha now what is this jnanamai kosha it is at the level of mind where the person now he has understood that he is living now he has gone to another level his consciousness has gone to the another level where he starts uh, focusing on the philosophical approach of life where he starts uh, thinking feeling and willing so this is a very very important point so now he is deriving happiness on the mental platform thinking feeling and willing and the brahman realization also lies here now his realization has come to the point of thinking feeling and willing before in annamai his realization was it doesn't matter what is living what is dead you know everything is food everything is jada for him now at the next level then he understood oh no no there is something living there is some conscious entities also and now after that he has come to the level oh those conscious entities have thinking feeling living capability thinking feeling willing capability now this can be easily understood in our uh, you know day to day life how it how it happens like the first concern of the civilized people is what is economic development oh i have to take care of you know economic development i have to take care of the body very properly that's the you know, the first need that is there the second one the second concern is defense defense against being annihilated so a person tries his best to protect himself and the next level is mental speculation that is philosophical approach to the values of life so when it comes to this uh, three that is annamai pranamai and manomai kosha this realization that the people have at this level is at a very very low level so they are completely conditioned so their knowledge you now is at a very very conditioned state but the other two which are there now those are on the higher levels what are those the first one is vijnanamaya kosha now this vijnanamaya kosha it's a very nice one to understand that now his consciousness is raised to such a platform because now intellectually he was analyzing things now by those intellectual analysis now his consciousness is raised above wherein he is able to understand that he is not the body he is spirit soul finally he has come to this level is not a very great thing but then you know, to come to this level you know, this is vijnanamaya kosha and when it comes to brahman realization now he is able to realize realize the self as different from the field of activity he is able to realize the self different from the field of activity and now for him the soul itself becomes the ultimate object of realization this is what is the level at which he is that is what is realization soul is the end of his realizations now when he goes above to the next level of consciousness that is anandamaya now this is the stage where he develops his relationship with supreme and executes devotional service this stage of life is called krishna consciousness or anandamaya kosha now he has come to another level just imagine he was at the level of just thinking about food he was not making any distinction between living and non living then he came to another level of consciousness where he tried ident- he was now able to identify oh this is living this is conscious and above that then he got this consciousness or this consciousness raised where he could understand oh this conscious living entity has got thinking feeling and willing capability and after that now you no know, after that he came to the level of understanding oh i am not the body i am spirit soul and now he has come to the understanding that i am part and parcel of krishna and i am servant of krishna i am supposed to serve krishna so this is the anandamaya kosha where he now he is in direct relationship with supreme personality of godhead this is the highest level of consciousness and what is the highest level of realization in previous one in vijnanamaya he was stuck at the soul that was his realization end all now his realization has gone up and what is that now he is able to understand the all blissful nature of the supreme personality of godhead and himself so that's how he is able to distinct he is able to have the distinction between the self and the supreme self and also he enters into a blissful relationship with the supreme self that is the super soul so in this way these five koshas are there in terms of consciousness and also in terms of realization so these consciousness you now we understand from this we understand the higher and lower natures you know that is described here by shila prabhupada 
Now here Krishna is giving a reference to previous uh, sages that they have quoted and now he is going to speak from that. We will see that in the next video. Hare Krishna.